Welcome back to Girl Talk. We are here with Barry Edwards, the new owner of Island Tire and Automotive Services on the south end of Hilton Head and also on the north end. It's great to be with you again. Well, I'm glad you could join us. It is the holiday time. Do we do we have to remind you once again? <laughs> it's all around us. And of course, even when we watch TV, we see those Lexus and Mercedes commercials with the big red bows and they're getting the brand new cars. But unfortunately, reality sets in and for many of us that's Yours not truly. so much <laughs> uh, very much so. not the case so what we want to do is maintain our car and take care of our baby and give it the life it deserves and you all can help us with that well we like to think we can let's um, talk about the the depreciation factor really when you make that new car purchase well when you first drive it off a lot it's going to drop a, probably a minimum three to seven thousand uh, dollars and it pretty much is all downhill and until it reaches uh, collector car status in about 20 years. And then you may see it start to come back up, assuming that it's in great shape. Right. Um, odds are that uh, they're, they're few and far between that many cars make it to that. Uh, they've got to be pretty special to get there. Absolutely, and you've got one here that's just amazing. Uh, we do. Amazing. Um, that one has had some preventative maintenance and a little and a little restoration it, work, a little it, facelift. That car's had a, <laughs> had a whole lot of TLC over its lifetime at one point or another. It is a beauty, but it's a great example of what you can do when you take care, or what can happen when well, you take care of your vehicle. Well, absolutely. Um, with preventative maintenance, vehicles will last. If you take good care of a car built within the last 10 years, there's no reason that you shouldn't be able to get at least 200,000 miles. Uh, my personal pickup truck, I've got 235,000 on it and plan to drive it for another 200. And I'm guessing you don't have a car payment. I uh, haven't had one in <laughs> probably s at least six, seven and years. And isn't that a nice thing, a nice goal to, to uh, work toward? Well, that, that's part of why we try to encourage a lot of folks. Uh, if they will budget $1,500 to $2,000 a year, it's, and that's including tires, uh, just for preventive, preventative maintenance, uh, to take care of the vehicle that they've got, it's cheaper than a car payment. Um, you'll end up with a higher resale, or if you want to, you can drive it until literally it rusts apart. Um, there are cars on Hilton Head with over 300,000 miles, yeah. but it's the folks that own them, they spend a little bit of money each year. Um, they get their fluids changed, they get the transmission service, they flush the radiator and the car just keeps right on ticking along. And it about makes every sense. about every three to five years they they put a new set of tires on it and keep on rolling. And this is a great example. We're standing in front of a vehicle that really um, could have might not be here if the owner had, we're, we're had a little bit of preventative well, maintenance. Well I know we're, we're happy to have it here, however, um, this car probably could have benefited from some preventative maintenance and it might not be in here. This one's actually in here for uh, a water pump that failed. Uh, my guess is that they most likely had not had the fluids uh, or the cooling system on this vehicle flushed at any point in time. Um, got to the point where the bearings and the pulley uh, overheated and it did lots of ugly things and so it's now uh, in here for a little TLC. And it's a challenging job because it's really hard to get to these parts. And you were showing me off camera before yeah. we started taping. I mean, this is labor costs and a lot of this adds up then. And again, it, it oh, could have been the, totally avoided. It, it gets to where the labor becomes generally more expensive than the parts. Uh, the newer cars, they're designed to be extremely lightweight, small, efficient. You know, this is a larger vehicle uh, everything they try to look at, put in the engine compartment as tightly and as efficiently to take up as little space. The challenge comes when you have to take something apart. Uh, they were designed to be to facilitate assembly on, a, on an assembly line, not necessarily to do service or to access uh, a part. Or so surgery. for this one, <laughs> yeah, or as we refer to it sometimes, open heart surgery. Uh, in this case, Literally, to get to the water pump, you've had to take the front wheel off. Parts, part of it is accessed through the wheel well. The other part is by somebody uh, literally laying on top of the way engine. It's down there. It's yeah. down below it's here, and you see they've had to pull all kinds of things with bungee cords to hold it out of the way. Um, all things that could have been 
avoided largely with just preventative maintenance. Now you guys have a courtesy check, mm -hmm. which is really kind of cool. It's a free service that they offer here. So when you come in just to get your regular maintenance and such, you do the courtesy check, which kind of is just an add-on uh, service here to your customers. Let's talk through yeah. well, like well, the, some of the things that you well, do. Well, the idea when we do a courtesy check, it's really we try to do that on every vehicle that comes in the shop. We just want to make sure that everything's okay. We've got guys that do nothing but work on cars and in the process of going through a systematic check, they're going to check all the major systems. Lights. We go through and you know, They're going to check different major components in the engine system uh, on a vehicle like this one. We'd start with look, checking the headlights, the signal lights. We're going to go all the way around the vehicle. We're going to check things like the wipers. If they're dry or if they're cracked, we're probably going to recommend that they be replaced. We're going to look at the air filter, the cabin air filter. Um, we're going to check the tire the pressure. We're going to check the depth on those tires. Do they look, are they wearing evenly? Or does it look like there may be an alignment issue if there's uneven wear somewhere? Uh, First and foremost, we're going to make sure that the tires have got the correct pressure. We've talked that about they're the past. Safe, right. We talked about that in yeah. last month's segment. Low tire pressure and you have miserable fuel mileage. Uh, we're going to look at some other indicators, things like what's the condition of the fluid. Is the transmission fluid nice and clear and bright red? Or does it look kind of like some kind of sconge or uh, pluff mud? Right. If your transmission's gotten a pluff mud, um, it's, uh, it's in need of some attention. Your cooling system, same thing. So we go all around the exterior of the car, we look at the underside, we want to look at the shocks, the struts, and uh, just make sure everything's okay. If there's something that needs attention, we want to try to bring it to the customer's attention. That's great. And we have about 30 seconds, if that, and we want to let them know about a great sale that you've got in December. We'll we might do. talk about it again next month. But December, you've got a great tire sale, so let's hit that quick. Well, it's actually going by. on in th through Thanksgiving and December on Michelin's and BFG tires, uh, the two of the best tires made on the market, and we will not be undersold on them. Um, we've got some, a number that we need to hit, and we are going to hit it. So, so if you down. need tires, now's the time. Get in here to Island Tire and Automotive Services. Barry, as always, thank you so much. You bring so much to us. Check them out online, islandtireauto.com or just stop in again to one of their Hilton Head locations. Thank you all for watching this episode of Girl Talk from all of us at WHHI and here at Island Tire and Automotive Services. We'll see you next time.